Hey, showtime. Mary Gauthier here with Jamie Harris. We've got Malcolm Holcomb on deck from outside of Asheville, North Carolina, and Michele Gazic with his friend Marco. Um, I think he's in Italy. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think he's back in Italy. He was in France last week. Uh, we're coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee, a stormy, rainy Nashville today. Uh, my garden is loving it. Uh, my tomatoes are singing. The cucumbers are smiling. The zucchini is singing the praises of the rain. Um, it's been uh, pretty dry around here, so I was happy to wake up to the showers. It's a summer rain. It's been 90 degrees and uh, nice to have a, a little bit of a storm this morning uh, to wake up to. I, I honestly, truly believe, I think, maybe, hopefully, I finished the first draft of my book today. Um, I went through the last two chapters in the epilogue one more time, and it reads pretty good to me. So um, I know a first draft is just the beginning, uh, but it's the beginning of the end. So I, I know the end is just the beginning because then you have to go uh, do what you got to do to get the book out into the world. But I'm so excited. I've been working on this for seven years. And uh, finally, I feel like I climbed Book Mountain, at least the first of the book mountains that I'm going to have to climb. So hooray. Um, super excited. We might even have to get takeout at Margo's. Oh my gosh, we should. Anna wants to know about your peppers, which are rocking by the way. Yeah, the my peppers, peppers are, are really pretty out there. Um, we were talking at Soundcheck with Malcolm Holcomb about the garden and he said, what I need is goat manure. And I need to take that goat manure and put it in a bucket and put some water in it and make what's called goat tea. And put goat tea on my vegetables. And you know what? I'm not going to do that, but it's a great idea. I'm just buying expensive compost at the little store up the street, and uh, it's working for me right now. I don't, I don't see myself stirring up goat, but you know what? It could happen. It could happen. I'm into it. I love watching the plants grow. I love watching the uh, uh, the 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 signs uh, of what they're trying to say to me. I'm learning plant language. Um, I'm learning what to do and when to do it. It's like, it's like trying to talk to a baby. They're telling you what they want, but all you can hear is screams. Remember those first horrible peppers, how bad it was? Yeah. Yeah. May, may I use this time? Like, and this might be an overstep, <laughs> but if anyone can give us tips on how to keep a Venus flytrap alive, please put them in the comments. Oh, Jamie, Send I bought an email. I bought Jamie a Venus flytrap and it's looking unhealthy there at the, at the, on the kitchen counter. So, uh, if you know how to keep one alive, I figured a Venus flytrap will get her interested in plants because she's that kind of, I figure it's creepy enough for her to like it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got one. It's We gave it a big fly. It rejected the fly. So I don't know what to do. Maybe a smaller fly. Who Maybe the hell it's knows? a vegetarian uh, Venus flytrap. It's a vegetarian Venus flytrap. <laughs> then what do you give it? Goat manure. Oh, manure. We're going to end up with that goat tea, I'm telling you. Anyway, um, let's get going here and uh, we'll bring in our guests shortly. This song is an old country song that I recorded on my Mercy Now record, written by the great Harlan Howard. When they ask about us, as friends always do. Remember the good times Honey, we had a few I'll never condemn you I'll take all the blame You've got a good answer they speak my name Just say she's a rhymer Rhymers get restless Just say that she's out there In search of a song I know I hurt you, but 
but I never meant to. Just say she's a rhymer. Just say she's gone. Pick it, Harris. truth <laughs> that's the definition of country music as defined by the late great harlan howard they used to call him the dean of the nashville songwriters there was a point in country music history i don't know if you know this where he wrote all 10 of the top 10 songs on the country chart oh my gosh no, i didn't know that it was so embarrassing for him he didn't want to go to the award show <laughs> I love that. That's my favorite piece of the of the story. He just he didn't even want to look at his friends because it was just too much. It was embarrassing. It was hard to take. And uh, we love him for that. You may know his big songs, uh, Tiger by the Tail, Busted, made famous by Ray Charles, uh, Waylon Jennings, uh, and his big, huge hit, I Fall to Pieces, that he wrote with, wrote with Curly Putnam, made famous by the great Patsy Cline. And uh, when I came to Nashville, Tennessee, I wrote uh, for Harlan Howard songs for a little over a year. They were my publisher uh, and they got me my record deal on Lost Highway. And I got to sit in that office and listen to a lot of songs that Harlan wrote. He wrote over 5,000 songs. Only 1,200 were recorded, which means there's 3,800 unrecorded Harlan Howard songs that the world has not heard sitting in that office on CDs. I got to track down that great uh, Rosie Flores recorded at Harlan Howard. Song. Rosie cut one. And it is incredible. Yeah, Nora things. Jones cut one. It's a, it's a ritual. Songwriters come through town, cool. and if they got a record deal, they can go in there and listen to the uh, library of song. There's gems in there. There's diamonds in there. There's stuff in there worth sorting through. 
Um, and uh, I was lucky enough to find Rhymer. No one had recorded that. I, I, I found it amazing. No one had recorded that. So I grabbed it, put it on my first major label record deal. And this song here is written also by someone else. Uh, I'm a big fan of Harlan Howard, and I'm a big fan of Fred Eaglesmith. And this is written by my friend Fred, e Fred Eaglesmith. And, uh, uh, yeah, they told Fred he'd be a star if he got himself a record deal on a major label. He needed a major label is what they told him. So he started a little independent company and called it A Major Label. Because that's the kind of guy that he is. He's a genius, actually. This is a Fred Eaglesmith song that was also on the Mercy Now record that came out in 2005. Your Sister Cried is what it's called. I stared out of the windshield to the rain so high. Turned on my deals. Somebody flashed their brights. And I reached over, turned the radio way down. Your sister cried all the way home. Lightning crashed and the road shone like a mirror. Dog came out of the ditch, then he disappeared. And I remembered a conversation we once had on the farm. Just cry all the way home, and I'll never know how you got into such a I'll have to wear the same dress. Everybody said you looked real good. I think you look stunning. And your sister cried.
sister cried. Oh, Nice, thank you, Harris. I like I like that Freddie Eagle Smith stuff. I love that Freddie Eagle Smith stuff. The man can write a song. He is a master storyteller, and in between the songs are masterpieces, too. He is a, an incredible storyteller. I miss him a lot. I usually see him every summer, and uh, uh, can't, uh, uh, I, I, I can't, I can't say that uh, I even know when I'm going to see anybody again. So we're just sitting here looking on out and seeing ourselves on the screen. I wish we could see y'all. Hey, <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh we are uh, coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, outside of Green Hills neighborhood in my little riding room. We've got our flag up in honor of Pride Month. Uh, and the new addition to the riding room is Sparkle Lights, which I ordered online after having Beth Nielsen Chapman as our guest. And she had all those sparkle lights and I, I developed Sparkle Light Envy. So those lights flash if they have six settings and one of them is they flash and so we'll do that for the fourth of july we'll turn on the flashers uh and uh uh, uh i think uh i didn't do my job it's okay <laughs> oh it's all good okay well uh, i need the mouse over here to do yeah yeah, yeah. It. That's, so, that's fair hey, there you go oh uh, so is it <laughs> we'll done it there out. It is off now. I don't. I'm waiting for your call. What, what are we doing next? We're gonna play one more song. One more song? Okay. Yeah, there, I'm supposed to do a job here that is to hit a button that disables audio processing, which makes the guitar sound better. And I forgot to do my job. <laughs> it's okay. She's delegated one single job to me, uh, and apparently I'm not capable of doing it. So uh, I'm I'm covered in shame and remorse. <laughs> Okay. If the guitar sounded terrible on those songs, that was my fault. Uh, it should sound better now. Here we go. I'll think about the joy inside your laugh. I'll think about your hand inside mine. I'll think about the sweetness of your soft skin as I try not to think. About time I'll think about My arms wrapped All around you I'll think about The kindness In your eyes I'll think about how you showed up on my doorstep as I was trying not to think about time. So many roads, so many towns between us so many nights so many stairs to climb so many thoughts to think 
I try not to think about time. So many roads, so many towns between us. So many nights, so many. Thoughts to think Does that miss you? And I try Not to think About time I'll try Not to think About time It's a newer song I wrote uh, in a hotel room in Albany, New York, uh, over the last little bit, I guess over the last two years, something like that. I was missing you. Uh, we had been apart for quite a while, and the road had separated us. And We had uh, been apart for one day when you wrote that song. I well, think that I was quite a while at the time. <laughs> Hoping uh, and ruin your story. <laughs> um, yeah. I did, I, I'm not sure that that's true, actually. It is, because we were in Buffalo, and then... Oh, we were going to be apart, is what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, what was... Uh, where, where, where Was I going to Europe after that? Mm -hmm. You were in Europe for a month. Oh, so I did Buffalo and then I took off. So I was I was anticipating. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So I got a little backwards, Sorry, but I was still uh, uh, no more thinking about how time um, became something I didn't want to think about. And I actually feel that way right now around this COVID thing, because we don't know when the end of this is going to be, and. Uh, we don't know when venues are going to open again. We don't know when we're going to be able to go back out and play for people. Uh, musicians and, and sidemen, uh, touring artists, people who make their living on the road, uh, we just don't know when we get to go back to work. Uh, so we're doing these every week to, to introduce you all to, to some of the artists that I think are incredible that are amongst us. Uh, some, of the, um, some of the most amazing um, I think genius songwriters uh, are, are are friends of mine. These these travels uh, in song have brought me into the life of people that I genuinely admire, and I want to introduce you to one of those folks. Uh, if you don't know him yet, Malcolm Holcomb needs to be in your 
uh, mind. His songs are incredible. I think he's got upwards of 15, 16 records out now. Let's bring Malcolm up in. I'll, I'll grab that. Thanks. I'm sorry. I'm not doing. No, my, you're good. You're doing. I'm not doing doing my buttons. All right. Yeah. So Malcolm, can you hit your uh, disable audio processing button? You'll have to uncheck it right now. Uncheck it. Uh, let me see. I'm sorry. Okay, folks. Yeah. All right. Man. There you go, and we'll check, we'll check it check it back before you play. But I thought I'd just say a few words to you and with okay, you. Okay, man. How you Thank doing? Where, you, where are you, man? I'm uh, in Swannanoa, which is Cherokee, uh, for like beautiful waters, beautiful water. It's about six, seven miles east of Asheville, Western North Carolina. I know the college there. They do the Swannanoa gathering every summer. Yeah, that's just you could you could probably throw a rock and. Uh, and uh, hit somebody in the knee from here. Is that right? You're close to the college. Liber yeah. Liberal Arts University? Yes, ma'am. And uh, they've, you know, their their corn is right over here. Uh, you can just about see the corn from here. They have, you know, if you go to college at Warren Wilson, then you've got to, you've got to get out there and, and get your elbows and hands dirty working in the, working in the fields, you know. They've got quite a, Quite a horticultural program over there, as well as uh, you know, liberal arts and music, and uh, been around a long, long time since yeah, the 1800s. It's yes, ma'am. Beautiful campus. I was out there for the Swannanoa gathering a few years ago. It's up in the yeah. hills, up in the hills of North Carolina. Really beautiful up there. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So, Malcolm, I don't know if you know this, but when I was working on songs for the record that uh, kind of put me on the map, but the Mercy Now record that uh, was my first major label record. Um, I listened every single day to your record, A uh, Hundred Lies. Um, I absorbed it. I was down in Key West writing uh, and trying to get my songs to, to the highest level possible uh, so that uh, I wouldn't fall on my face with this big opportunity I was given. And, um, uh, your record, Hundred Lies, was incredibly and still is incredibly important to me. That record has quite a history. Was that your first record or was that your first major label record? That was, uh, uh, you know, on Geffen thing. It, uh, it was the first and the only one. <laughs> it lasted about 10 minutes. The check cleared and the rest of it I kind of forgot. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was picked mm. up by HIPAA, a reissue label eventually. They Drug it off the shelf, but yeah, there's a lot of fun out there in Santa Monica. Geffen, huh? Wow, that must have been a bit of a ride for you. Gosh, gosh. Uh, you know, I mean, it never saw the light of a day, but uh, you know, it, you know, it was fun hanging out with uh, with uh, some folks out there in Santa Monica. We got together and played some tunes, and and uh, uh, so I was very grateful to you know get a chance to meet some. Meet some folks that, uh, you know, still talk to me. A couple of them do these days anyway. <laughs> well, I, that song, I mean, that record has, is, is very, very important to me. Um, those songs are extremely um, uh, well written. Uh, they, they showed me a new way to write, actually. Um, they, they gave me, a, they let me out of song prison. Um, your, your style had an impact on me big time. I don't think I'd have been able to write... Um, a song I wrote called Wheel Inside the Wheel or a song I wrote called Prayer Without Words without having heard heard your songs before before I, I tried that. And and the imagery comes comes hard and fast in your songs and and you create um, uh, a feeling with pictures. I, I don't know if a lot of thought goes into it or if you just just throw words on the page and it adds up, but it sure works for me. I love, love, love the way that you you do what you do. Um, back then, you weren't you weren't you weren't even sober yet, right? Back then, well, it was kind of a you know hit and miss, man. There for a lot of years, and uh, so, uh, so there was a time there, you know. Uh, moved to Nashville about ninety, and I was, I was just thinking the last couple of days. I think I met you about the mid nineties or something like that, you know, you know, hanging out at Douglas corner cafe in Nashville. And, but there's a lot of writers and of course it was a writer's club, you know, people swapping oh, yeah. tunes, you know, and so it really, uh, 
And then, of course, sitting around some bars around here in town and here and there. But, you know, uh, you know, being influenced by a lot of folks from, uh, you know, you know, records that my mother had, rest her soul. And from, you know, the nut, uh, the Nutcracker Suite to Jose Turbid to Tennessee Ernie Ford, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I think. It's all in there, too. Yeah, this it's is, all in there. It's, you know, we all get influenced, in at least I do, by just, uh, a, a, you know, if it's the sound of a, you know, the barber slapping his razor on a razor strap or whether it's going around your legs <laughs> or, you know, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, Merle Travis or Django Reinhardt, you know, people, you know, you know, it's just kind of inspiring. And uh, so it's very kind of you to mention that old record. Uh, it's a, my, in my opinion, it's a masterpiece, and it needs to always be in print and always <clears> be <throat> always be available. It's a masterclass in songwriting, uh, and uh, and from there you got well, I don't know, fifteen, sixteen records, and you're working on a new one. Well, I you know I don't count them, but uh, I'm just very grateful that uh, uh, you know not not drinking today, but there's just been a lot of people that have, uh, that have uh, had faith and prayers and, and been able to, uh, uh, you know, keep this old boy and this family, you know, trying to struggle through another day. And it's, uh, uh, you know, being the service industry, I'm just trying to be of service. So. Yes, sir. We share that Malcolm and I, we're not proud of it, but we're not ashamed of it. Uh, we just want folks to know that uh, we have chosen the path of recovery and sobriety, uh, and it has allowed us to continue down songwriter road. Um, and we both look at it in a very similar way that uh, we, we write songs in service to the muse and in service to others, and they serve us back in ways we could never imagine. And one of the ways is they help us to stay sober because <laughs> they attach themselves to purpose and meaning other than the self. Oh, we love you, Malcolm. I'd love to hear you play some songs. Well, you know, I love you guys too. Well, I was thinking about this old tune. Speaking of, uh, go ahead can, and uh, hit the button so yeah, your guitar sounds good, yes. and we're gonna get out of your screen. All right, thanks. Play, play two. That way, you don't have to worry about that button for a while. Okay, man. We're gonna hook this little Wichita thing here. I don't know. There we go. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah. It's a uh, on my ass with both hands here. It's only song called Who Carried You. From a Cajun down here to Carolina, she was sick in the morning, see the town doctor. Well, life, Agatha Christie, in a trail way back from New Orleans. And who done it? Who carried you? From the church yard to the liquor store, from the clothesline clean out the door. Life, Agatha Christie, in a trail way back from New Orleans. And who done it? Who carried you? Thelma Marie, three boys love pearly jeans from 59 to heaven through 37 years oh lord who done it who carried you remember sitting on a lap smelling a listerine and black and white might have been that old fader tv really was a buick to the amp who done it who carried you? Thelma Marie. Three boys love Pearl and Jean from 59 to heaven through 37 years. Oh Lord, who done it? Now who carried you? Carolina, she got sick in the morning. 
Where the CLT sprinkle, Lord, he gone She read John Dave McDonald And Ellery Queen Life in Redbud And McCall's magazine said Walter Cronkite was covering the Vietnam War It was life back of the Christie And the trail way back from New Orleans Who done it? Who carried you? Who carried you? <coughs> I guess play one more is what uh, Mary mentioned there. And I'm glad to be here on the Sundays with Mary. It's uh, cool. I hope you folks are taking care of yourselves out there. Think about your neighbor. And your family. Be safe. It's uh, all yours no more. Built all your bridges and you mined all our coal You fought for our freedom and you died in our wars Steel workers in the factories, you're back breaking plows You're sweating and you're dreaming, made my home free proud Send me your tide and pull sick and suffering. Send them to me. Send them to me. Ellis Island is yours no And you dared by God's grace and love Lord knows I once was a beggar I was a robber, a liar At the mercy of handouts and government lawyers uh, Send me your tried And poor sick suffering Send them to me Send them to me Ellis Island is yours no more Lord Lord now why do we Homeless we cry Only memories of justice and tears in your eyes Lord knows I don't know nothing now less every day Little bit older and heart in the way Send me your child and poor sick and suffering. Send them to me, Lord, send them to me. Ellis Island is yours no more. Angel Island is yours no more. Ellis Island is yours.
Mm. Malcolm, what a message. Thanks. Yeah, boy, just letting that just soak in. What an important song for the time we live in. Yeah, thank you for that. Thanks for having us, man. You know, I appreciate you and Jimmy. You know, to the grindstone, get some, get some shaking going on here for the folks that are trying to use a little common sense and and not be out and about uh, running naked through the expressway, you know, <laughs> just, you know, uh, you know, in broad daylight. So, you know, I appreciate folks that are kind of sticking to their common sense a little bit. Mm -hmm. Damn right. When we go out, we wear a mask out of respect for others and out of concern for uh, for the common good. The common good is something that is uh, something that uh, we 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 think about a lot. Uh, how to how to how to how to do things uh, with that in mind. Yes, ma'am. I think uh, there's a <clears throat> there's a lot of folks that have uh, have kind of influenced me over the years with. Uh, with uh, uh, with just good old common sense, and uh, uh, you know, like listen, you know, my dad had some good common sense. He said, "Never quit your day job," and I wish I'd have damn listened to him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and in in proof that you had no common sense, you really <clears throat> did the just that. Yeah. So, how you been feeling, Malcolm? I know you had some health issues this year. You you you, you do you seem stronger. You feeling better? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. You know, just just uh. You know, trying to use again, you know, try to rub that common sense worry stone, you know, and I'm not a spring chicken anymore, even though I think I am, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm about a little bit younger, you know, but uh, the body doesn't agree with me. Oh, man. Yeah, that's I'm okay, glad. though. But yeah, I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad okay. you're better than, than, than you were. I'm glad that you're up and about. Um, Thanks. Just want everybody on the broadcast to know I'm sharing this, uh, whatever tips you sent in with Malcolm and uh, Jamie and Michaela. Uh, but uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the struggle, uh, I'm sure, Malcolm, is uh, what do you do for money when you can't go play shows? And uh, so, uh, you know, we're finding ways to survive this thing. But uh, but uh, any tips that that uh, y'all send in on this broadcast, I'll make sure Malcolm gets some money here and uh you know, a little here, a little there. It does it does help uh, grounded musicians? But of course, no tips are required. We're doing this for folks uh, because we want to, and uh, there's people in worse shape than all of us out there, and don't feel like you have to. Um, so uh, you know what? I think Malcolm, I'm gonna put you in the green room for a little bit, uh, play a song or two, and then we're gonna bring you back. All right? We got more songs coming from Malcolm. Good. Thanks, guys. All right. We'll thank you. Soon. All right. Want to want to say hello to Michaela? Yeah, let's do Michaela it. Michaela has uh, uh, his accompanist, who's he's been playing with for many years, uh, with him. Marco, Michaela, where are you both today? Uh, ciao, Mary. Ciao, Jamie. Hi, ciao, Mary. Ciao, everybody. Hi. Uh, we, are, we are now in uh, in Piemonte, northwest of Italy. Uh, I am uh, at Marco's home, that you can see. Marco is uh, my collaborator and one of my best friends since uh, 2006. So it's a long time that uh, we are uh, we are playing together and we are sharing our lives. So it's like a, it's like a, with you, Mary, in some way. We spend a lot of time together. So uh, I am uh, happy to introduce Marco to you and to all our friends. Uh, can't wait to hear you play. What you got for us today? Ah, today uh, uh, I will perform uh, one song that uh, is uh, the story of a man that was uh, in a mental asylum uh, in Venezia, and uh, this mental asylum in Venezia is uh, was and still is an island. Now it's uh, it isn't anymore a mental a, a mental asylum. It's part of the University of Venezia, but they preserved uh, the 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 papers, the clinical records of the mental asylum, and so I could find 
his story. And um, he was uh, in this place not because he was out of his mind, but because his family didn't want him at all. So he wasn't out of his mind. So one day in 1943, they, they told me, man, you, uh, it's um, not a great thing that you stay here. You have to go out. And so they promised to leave, to release him that year for Christmas. And they even sent him out one day to see his town, Venezia. And so uh, he went out for one day and they said, okay, this man is okay, no problem. But during that year uh, began in Italy the racial law, uh, laws against, against Jewish people. And so for some months they told me, okay, you can go out. And then they told me, they told him, no, you have to stay here. And so he was, uh, he was stuck there. And finally he was uh, deported to Germany uh, by the Nazi and the Italian fascist. And, and, uh, and he died in Auschwitz. But my song uh, tried to focus on something in, uh, on a positive moment in this tragic story. I imagine that uh, that day when he went out of the island for one day, he could be back on the island and he could write a letter to the woman that he uh, loved saying, okay, I will see you on Christmas. We know that this uh, didn't happen, but my song is full of hope, it's a uh, uh, love, it's a love letter, and it is a, a waltz. Uh, I have a mixed feeling about the waltz. I love waltzes and I hate waltzes, but <laughs> <laughs> also, also because uh, at that time uh, waltzes were also the bubble uh, gum music uh, on the radio. So, and uh, but uh, uh, I was thinking uh, to write this letter on a waltz, and it's a gentle waltz, and it's a, a love letter. This song is a part of a collection of uh, songs uh, that I wrote uh, studying the clinical record on the island, and I lived on that island for one month of my life uh, a couple of years ago. But anyway, too many words, I would love to share uh, the song and uh, tonight I have uh, the joy to have uh, Marco with him and so I can uh, sing and play. Beautiful. Thank you, Maestro. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you, Mary. Stasera qua so torna, ho visto e a tua finestra, no ho avuto cuore canta, e assim al manco scriver sta notte, so in camera e tu ti dorme, te scrivo sotto al visione. E parole che volevo cantare, e parole che volevo cantare. Go parla 
col fior di retore un matito che presto uscirò te porterò un aneto alla vegnarò coto pane a parlare vegnarò coto pane a parlare Se pronta, Dio sa, non ho bisogno di tanti. Un per de braghe e do camise. E vio in che te fa innamorare. Da tre anni ormai do sono. Ogni mattina però io farda. Io ne tavo col pano de seda, come un specchio e ho con età, come un specchio e ho con età. Beautiful, Beautiful Mary. Mary. Thank you, Mary. Ah, uh, love I'm it loving. so much. This is gorgeous. You're singing. Gorgeous singing. I never get to hear you sing. No, uh, I I really love to share this uh, with with you and my friends. Finally, this was uh, the good day to do it. <laughs> <laughs> really lovely. Thank you, Marco. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, so Michele wrote a whole record from the uh, archives and 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 uh, record uh, medical records from that <laughs> old hospital on the island, and it really captures a dark, dark time in Italian history and in the history of Europe, the rise of the Nazis, anti-Semitism, and the horrors that came um, from from the um, the rise of the Third Reich in Germany and the fascists in Italy and uh, all of the things that followed. It's an incredible record. Uh, even if you don't speak Italian, you can feel the, you can feel the characters come alive. I did the translations on the record uh, for the English um, and uh, the lyrics are translated inside the, the booklet uh, in the record. So uh, I'd encourage you, you all to, to get that record. It's available on Michele's website. Um, and uh Thank you for playing that song, Maestro. Thank you, Mary. And I love to say that uh, I choose to write uh, this song 
not only to tell an old story, but because my fear are on the present, what is uh, happening now. So uh, I just wanted to tell this uh, story to think about what is happening to not do again the same horrible mistakes. That uh, was the reason. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Um, over here in the States, the Facebook, we're broadcasting on Facebook. Facebook removed uh, Trump campaign ads because they were using the triangle, the Nazi symbol. Yeah. Um, as a gay person, uh, as a child, uh, a young young teenager anyway, uh, I knew what the pink triangle meant as a gay person, that uh, the pink tri triangle was tattooed onto gay people uh, in Germany. Uh, and uh, that was uh, a mark that prepared them for the ovens in the concentration camps. Uh, it was uh, uh, gay people, Jews, and gypsies, um, and uh, the mark was in a triangle, and the, and the triangle uh, forevermore in that shape and that color, uh, we know what it means, and it's a very, very dangerous symbol of Nazism, uh, and I'm glad... Uh, Zuckerberg did the right thing and take those campaign ads the hell off of Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is what is, a, is a happening now. We see triangles, we see swastikas on the walls, we see even yellow stars in, in Italy, and uh, there are all these horrible things that uh, are, are uh, coming back uh, also in many European states. There are these. Uh, right-wing parties, this Nazi party, this fascist party that are uh, uh, growing. They are uh, gaining more and more votes. So uh, we are in fear. Yeah. Michele, someone is asking the name of the island. Is that Sardinia? Is that correct? No, no. no. Uh, uh, the island is called San Servo. And, uh, and uh, uh, the island is uh, right in front, in front, uh, in front of Venezia, and it looks like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like a jail, and it was in some way. It looks like Alcatraz to give you an idea, with the walls all around, and uh, if you are there, you feel trapped, like uh, in a jail. An important record, Maestro. An important story. And you're right, it's not just history. Uh, we, we have to deal with this right now, right here, and push back against this and speak up and speak out and uh, call what we see, uh, name it, uh, and, and push back against it. So thank you for, for doing uh, this work with us and, and bringing this, uh, this to, to my attention so I can say what I see happening over here in the States. And thank you, Marco, for playing today. Um, Thank you all. Uh, we're going to play a couple songs over here and then bring uh, Malcolm back and then we'll bring you back to say, say, say goodbye. Thank you, Maestro. Thank you, Marco. Uh, thank you, Mary, for, uh, for, you. Uh, for inviting uh, again and to give us the possibility to share this song and this message. You're we so welcome. We love you and we miss you. And uh, uh, keep writing songs, Maestro. Keep going. I think we should play a song... Uh, that um, was written by my, my friend David Olney. Um, uh, I teach songwriting workshops uh, uh, here in Nashville a couple times a year, and uh, I also teach uh, um, at folk festivals around the country, sometimes in Canada, uh, even in Scotland. Um, but uh, uh, often when I taught in Nashville, I would bring my friend David Olney in to, to work with students and talk about his songwriting process. Uh, to me, David's one of, the, one of the great songwriters of our time. He, he passed away in January. We lost him um, unexpectedly at a festival we were at uh, down uh, in Florida called the 30A Songwriters Festival. And um, uh, I, I am a huge fan of of, of his work, and I, I just feel like we should play one of his songs right now. And so this is a song that uh, was recorded, of course, by David, but he had the pleasure of, of uh, having Emmy Lou Harris and Linda Ronstadt record it as a duet, which, as a songwriter, I don't think there is a higher honor 
uh, two of the greatest <laughs> singers of our time duetting on your song. I mean, that is as good as it gets. It's my bar for sure. It's, <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah, and this song uh, I think is just incredible. And let's see if I can do it any justice. The women cross the river, carry water from the well at break of day. And they talk to one another, God only knows what they might say. You might get an education after years of dedication. You might finally get a glimpse of what is right, what is wrong. But the women cross the river. They knew that all along. Oh, the women cross the river work with tools that are ancient and handmade. They plow their fields in perfect rows in the end. They rest beneath the shade. We have learned to build out of concrete, out of steel, and our buildings last a thousand years in the end. But the women cross the river Never learn to build a wall Across the river are as gentle as the dew upon the ground. How I love to hear them laughing in the rain when it makes that perfect sound. A soldier with a gun and a battle to be won might kill you with a bullet and you never even know the reason why. But the women cross the river. 
They can kill you with their eyes Oh, the women cross the river They can kill you with their David Olney. We love David Olney songs. We love David Olney. Malcolm loved David Olney too. Let's bring Malcolm back. Yeah, let's do it. Just one minute. Oh, okay, there we go. In fact, that was the last time we saw you in person was at the David Olney tribute and remembrance night at the Belcourt Theater. Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah. Well, that's a great song, man. Y'all already made it your own. What a songwriter he was, huh? God oh, darn. And a dear friend to, to many people. You know. Yeah, a good friend yeah. to me, that's for sure. And a wonderful mm -hmm. teacher. He he came to the workshops uh, uh, that uh, I taught here in Nashville and was able to talk about his process in a really humble and gentle way that helped the students out. I'm always going to miss him. I have a special place in my heart always for David Olney. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Thank you about him every day. Yeah, me too, me too. So uh, he was on fire with creativity. He had so much left to say. He was coming out with a new record uh, mm -hmm. that, that he had written uh, with... Uh, um, a Rockley and Anana. Anana and a Rockley, two, uh, two, two Russian uh, immigrants here in Nashville who are incredible songwriters. We need to have them on, yeah, on oh, uh, yeah. the show. Oh, yeah. And they had written a whole masterpiece of of work um, that uh, they were excited to to reveal, and then David had the heart attack. But but uh, we'll we'll get a Rockley and Anana on at some point and introduce it to the world. But for now, Malcolm Holcomb, would you play a couple more songs? There was a request in there somewhere. You remember what it was? There was, and then it flew by. You know what? It, it kind of flew by. <laughs> Whatever you play is good, Malcolm. We love all uh -huh. your stuff. Thanks, thanks, guys. You're doing a great job, and it's a Good to be here, man. It's a, I'll get one of these little dang majors. Uh, uh, I don't want to disappear anymore. It's just a thing here. I don't want to disappear anymore Tired of hiding in the shadows I love the work and keep my head above water It's hard to live in the darkness I keep moving if I want to survive and I send a little money home sometimes I don't want to disappear anymore I don't want to disappear anymore Tired of hiding in the shadows I love the work and keep my head above water Hard to live in the darkness I can do anything that you need Long hours, little pays no stranger to me I don't want to disappear anymore My clothes from a second hand store. My shoes pick good enough till tomorrow. I don't wanna disappear anymore. I don't wanna disappear anymore. Lord, I'm tired, hiding shadows. I love to work and keep my head above water. Hard to live in the darkness. Still wanna believe in the truth, but the laws of color always turn blue. 
by the sun and they're shaking deep within I am my brother's keeper lost among these days and beyond the weeping screams I travel far away now use favor word indeed spout the fountains full your mighty hands and feet and you bear the swords of peace Sorrow comes to hold that knows no tongue to speak and suffer madness close and under lock and key. I am my brother's keeper, lost among these days, and beyond the weeping screams I travel far away. Doorstep windows cast shadows from the light, then distant stars away. I wish upon the night, and I am my brother's keeper, lost among these days. And beyond the weeping screams, I travel far away. But I am my brother's keeper, lost among these days. And beyond the weeping screams, I travel far away. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Malcolm. Hey, thank you, Mary and Jamie. God bless you all. Dios te bendiga. And you know, Michaela and Marco. Thanks for joining us today, brother Malcolm, and everybody on the streams. Please, please, please. Thanks, guys. MalcolmHolcomb.com. Buy his records. Help him out with, with some loving comments. He's an amazing songwriter and one of the finest guitar players I've ever witnessed. And really. <laughs> All around good human being and uh, cranky as shit, which I love. And he makes the best hot sauce. And ever, hot sauce it. maker. We're we're waiting for that. I mean, I, we put your hot sauce on our yeah, eggs right, for right. a solid month. We put too much because we ran out too fast. But my goodness, yeah, you can coming make your way. <laughs> Thanks to all the folks listening out there and eat your vegetables. Thank you. God bless y'all again. We love you, Malcolm. Thank you, brother. Like I said. Uh, we do appreciate tips. I'm gonna make sure Malcolm gets some money in, and uh, uh, make sure we take good care of our friends during this time. And uh, who do we have next week? Oh, next week, um, actually, Jamie and I are driving to Kansas 
And we're going to do a show, uh, our first show since the shutdown. We're going to do an outside show at an Arboretum in Belle Plaine, Kansas. Social distance masks will be worn um, outside uh, and a small little songwriting workshop as well. Social distance masks will be worn. Uh, so we'll let you know in two weeks uh, how that went. I'm excited to uh, to get there. Getting there is kind of scary, though. I don't quite... I don't quite know how to deal with the traveling right now, but we'll figure it out. we got disinfectant spray. We're going to spray the shit out of everything and get there somehow. We accidentally ordered a case before the pandemic of that disinfectant spray. Remember? Got six bottles when you only wanted one. Oh, yeah, like in January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after that, they've been out of stock ever since. So mm -hmm. luckily, we accidentally have a lot of it. So uh, we'll see you in two weeks. And our guest will be... In two weeks? Is that the the twelfth? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Lori McKenna. Yeah, we'll bring we'll bring Lori McKenna to you in two <laughs> weeks. Uh, one I'm of the, one that. of the great songwriters of our time and a good dear friend of mine uh, back from back in my Boston days. Um, wanted to say real quick, uh, I've been teaching songwriting master classes on Zoom over this pandemic, and I just added four more songwriting master classes um, onto my website. Um, it's been going real well. I'm limiting the size of the classes and I'm talking about subjects, um, uh, that are related to songwriting, uh, week to week, different subjects. Uh, the next four will be different than the last four. If you want to see what I'm up to, go to my website. Um, it's first come first serve. They sell out. I, I don't like huge classes, so we're going to keep it to around 20, 25 people. And, uh, and what I do is, uh, is, is talk about my process and, and uh, we're going to talk about co-writing. We're going to talk about finding your voice. In fact, we're doing a free class on the 4th of July. Yes, indeed. On the 4th of July, if you can uh, get to the Zoom at 12 o'clock Central, uh, I'm going to talk about writing Mercy Now and inserting the universal into your song. You don't have to be a songwriter to join it, but you need the Zoom information and so you can get that on my website. Um, and uh, come on in and see what it's like to be in a Mary Gaucher songwriting class, a one hour free workshop just to get a taste of it. And then there'll be four after that uh, that uh, will uh, we'll go through the month of July into the first week of August. And also, quick uh, little advertisement here. We are selling tea towels with the lyric to Mercy Now on it. These are just kitchen towels, really. But uh, they're beautiful, and uh, I learned about them from my friend Trudy Harris in London, who said, Mary, you must have tea towels. And so now I do. Thank you, Trudy Harris. Um, we still always have these in stock, the shirts. Mercy now. Small all the way to double X. And this is the big deal, the grand door prize, all of my life's work. That's 10 CDs worth of work, all of it for 50 bucks. Comes to about $5 a record, and we would appreciate um, uh, you buying it from us. You can't buy it anywhere else anyway. Not that price, not this bundle. Only at MaryGaucher.com. Uh, folks have been buying it, and that keeps us in business. Thank you so much for getting the records directly from the artists. Uh, that's, how, that's how we cut out the middle men and women. This bundle, 50 bucks, everything I've ever recorded right here. Uh, master class, bundles, please sign up for my web, uh, my, my newsletter on my website. Just go on in and sign up at marygoshe.com and we'll send you a newsletter every so often. Uh, and of course, we'll never sell that list to anyone that's going to harass you or bother you. It's a private list. It's never going to leave here. Uh, we don't send a lot of emails. We send once a month and then let, let you know about a new song or a new master class or or a project that we're working on, but it's not a assault. I don't have the energy or the or the desire to email the shit out of anybody, so <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna play one or two yeah. more songs. <laughs> I hear you. It's just the truth. Uh, and uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, thanks, Malcolm, for being a part of it. Um, thanks everybody for the tips, and uh, we're gonna share them with the other artists on the bill tonight and uh, today. And make sure everybody gets a little money, a little spending money, get them through the week. Uh, thank y'all so much. Let's play a song, Jamie. Sure. Let me make sure I got the capo on the right place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this old song, I have to say, in all honesty, was really helped along by me listening over and over and over again to a record Malcolm put out called 100 Lies. 
I love that record so much. I love all yeah. his records, but that one just really shaped my understanding of songwriting at a very formative time in my in my songwriting. And I love that record. His imagery comes, it's a slideshow of pictures that adds up to a feeling. It's a nonlinear story that is run on emotion. And I don't know of anybody who does it any better than Malcolm Holcomb. He's the very best. Such a pleasure to share this opportunity uh, with all of you to, to hear some of Malcolm. Listen to his songs. He's one of the very, very great songwriters of our time. And uh, I love him. So anyway, let's play songs. Shut up, Mary. Get back so you can see my hands. Not that they're moving very fast. <laughs> Parade of souls is marching across the sky. The heat and light bathed in blue as they march by. While the all stars play, when the saints go marching in. Until a second line forms, they wave white hankies in the wind. Satchmo takes his solo and flashes that million dollar smile. Marie Laveau promenades with Oscar Wilde. Big funky Stella twirls her little red umbrella to the beat. As the soul parade winds its way down eternity street. Souls ain't born, soul don't die. Soul ain't made of earth, ain't made of water, ain't made of sky. Ride the flaming circle, wind the golden reel, and roll on, brother, in the wheel inside the well. Mardi Gras Indians dance in the streets at sundown. Spy boy meets spy boy, big chief meets big chief uptown. Yeah, they circle and sway in rainbow colored feathers and beads. Mm, they prance like peacocks, children of slavery free. Souls ain't born, so don't die. Soul ain't made of earth, ain't made of water, ain't made of sky. Ride the flaming circle, wind the golden reel, and roll. Crossbones parades into the sun. Yes, they walk through that fire, then they come out beating drums. While the French Quarter Queens in high heel drag disguise, they sing over the rainbow till Judy Garland quivers and sighs. So don't die. So he made of earth, ain't made of water, he made of sky. Ride the flaming circle, wind the golden reel, and roll on.
<laughs> yeah, the wheel inside the wheel, inspired by a song I heard Johnny Cash sing once called Ezekiel Saw the Wheel. Really? That's right. Ezekiel saw the wheel way up in the middle of the air. It's a wheel in a wheel way in the middle of the air. And the big wheel spins by day and the little wheel spins by the grace of God. It's a wheel in a wheel way in the middle of the air. Hi, Johnny. Um, Did you see Carlene's Father's Day post today? I saw Carlene's oh, Father's Day so post. Cute. Yes, indeed. We're friends with Carlene Carter, uh, and uh, her father's Carl Smith, but she was raised by Johnny Cash, mm -hmm. and she has uh, agreed to be our guest on this show. So we'll have Carlene Carter for y'all coming up uh, in August, or is it July? It's July 19th, so it's Lori, and then it's Carlene, and we... Carlene has some of the best stories I've ever heard. Carlene's yeah, awesome. But she's a great storyteller. So it's Lori McKenna, and then Carlene Carter, and then Rodney Crow. We got some good guests coming up, and uh, throw us suggestions. We'll try to get them on. If I know them, I'm, I'll hit them up, all right? Play one more song and call it a day. Oh. All right, get this on here. Uh, I want to thank Michaela and Marco. I want to thank... Malcolm and, of course, Jamie Harris. Thank you. And Cin uh, Cindy, who helped so much. Yeah, get Cindy. Up and running and Cindy, Malcolm's wife, yeah. running the Facebook Thank in the you. background. Um, and, uh, gosh, you know, let's play two more songs. Okay, Okay, because sure. you didn't play a song yet, Jamie Harris. We can't do that. Oh, oh, you got to play a song. Okay. No, it's not. It's okay. I want you to play a song. You want me to play a song? I'll, I'll play searing lead guitar and astonishing harmonies. No, I won't. Let's just have Jamie Harris play a song there. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to play this. Um, I can't remember if, I, if I've played this on the show before, but McKay I know McKaylee played an instrumental version of it. But I've been kind of feeling this song I wrote with Dirk Powell um, and Katrina Noel called The Fair and Dark-Haired Lad. Fair and Dark-Haired Lad. It's a song that feels like it has always been, which is a high compliment. Thank you. Yes, indeed.
Mm. I don't want to blab too much, but I do want to say, you know, today is, is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. All the dads out there, and uh, all the da my dad lost his dad at, at a really young age, and so I know this is this is uh, can be a hard day for our family, and um, and uh, I should give my dad honestly, my dad should get a little bit of co-writing credit for that song because he he told me a story that kind of ended up in there in, in a way and uh in that song and uh happy i just want to think about my dad and and uh and kind of um it's just gonna be a hard day for some people and um, you probably know how that feels but i do know how that feels yeah sorry to get dark i guess at the end but i just i've been thinking a lot about about my dad in a lot of ways today and, yeah uh, well then and let's, everyone that let's acknowledge might be struggling today chris harris who uh bought me my first guitar and taught me how to play it and Help yeah, me write my first song. In spite of some tough breaks, was <laughs> yeah. an incredible father yeah. himself. Taught me how to run a PA. And raised you and your two brothers to be yeah. uh, uh, beautiful souls. Yeah. All three of you are going to do amazing things in this life. And uh, in spite of some pretty low blows at a pretty young age, your father was an incredible father. Yeah. Happy Father's Day to Chris. And uh, happy you. Father's Day to that. all the dads. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks, Jamie. And uh, this song actually mentions my father. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again in uh, in a while. We might we we're not going to be on next week because we're going to be playing a show in Kansas, Bell Plain, Kansas, outside at an arboretum. Uh, if you want to come, it'll be on our website. It is on our website. Um, uh, but we'll be back uh, probably before next Sunday. We'll figure out a way to hit the live button somewhere in there and play for you because we just love doing it. Uh, and so if we don't see you before, we'll see you with Lori McKenna on July 12th. July 12th. And uh, we want to send love out to everyone and uh, mercy, kindness. And uh, this old song is just how we have to end it every time, I think. Well, my father... He sure could use a little mercy now The fruits of his labor Falling right slowly on the ground His work is almost over Won't be long, he won't be around to his fear and his doubts The pain that he lives in It's almost more than living will allow I love my brother He could use some mercy now My church and my country, they could use a little mercy now. As they sink into a poison pit, it's gonna take forever to climb it. They carry the weight of the faithful. Who follow them down? I love my church and country. They could use some mercy now. Every living thing could use a little mercy now. To 
was another mushroom cloud There's people in power Who'll do anything To keep their crown I love life, life itself Could you some mercy now See you soon.